Hi, my name is Rossella Ferrari and I'm a reader in Chinese and Theatre Studies in the Department of East Asian Languages and Cultures. And, and I teach uh, modules related to uh, cinema and performance cultures. So in cinema and performance in China, critical and historical approaches, uh, students learn about key issues and events in the often interconnected history of Chinese film and theatre um, since the beginning of the 20th century. So we uh, study the origins of cinema in the so-called opera films based on indigenous Chinese forms. And then we look at um, examples of uh, silent cinema in the so-called golden age of Shanghai filmmaking. And we also look at the origins of modern drama, Chinese drama in Japan. Um, then we move on to looking at the politics of socialist filmmaking and theatre making under Mao and during the Cultural Revolution and uh, we explore uh, post-Maoist and post-socialist genres and trends in terms of filmmaking and performance making, for example, uh, avant-garde performance, independent documentary, um, independent cinema, feature filmmaking, uh, women's cinema, um, commercial cinema, and other trends. Uh, the module is uh, very, uh, has a quite strong interdisciplinary focus because we look at the uh, interrelationship, with, uh, the connections between film and theatre and also between film theatre and for example literature or the visual arts. We look at issues of adaptation, uh, intermediate adaptation and also intercultural adaptation. With respect to both film and theatre, we place them in a transnational context, so we look at their transnational connections. For example, we explore the long-standing historic relationship between China and Hollywood, and including um, representations of China and Chineseness in classic Hollywood cinema, as well as more recent films. And this issue also uh, helps us explore um, uh, issues of self-exoticism and self-orientalism. And um, moreover, we explore the uh, connections of mainland Chinese uh, performance cultures and, and cinema with the cinematic and theatrical and performance cultures of other regions in the uh, wider Sinophone area, for example, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, and, uh, and so forth. Uh, there is no language requirement for this module. Everything is in English or uh, has uh, English subtitles. Uh, we meet um, for two hours per week, so we have two contact hour per, hours per week, uh, one seminar and one lecture. And uh, in terms of assessment, we have three items, three elements of assessment. One is a quiz, then uh, there is an essay, and there is a choice. The third element is a choice between a reaction paper, um, a short film analysis and a video presentation. Uh, finally, uh, this module cannot be taken in conjunction with its uh, language-based um, equivalent, uh, Chinese Cultures on Screen Stage, because they share a lecture and there is a content overlap. So uh, students uh, of those modules share a lecture, but they have separate uh, dedicated tutorials. I look forward to seeing you in the course.